have just got into our caravan and this has to be the nicest caravan we have ever seen it is so so lovely not even like a little kitchen island it's actually so so lovely right let's go into the bedrooms and such this is holly and chloe's bedroom it's all very lovely it's my bedroom it's so cute the nicest caravan we've ever stayed in yes definitely happy days <laughs> and we've been in the wardrobe <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday all subscribers say happy birthday in the comments for holly <laughs> which won't be her birthday anymore <laughs> right that's the tour holly show us an mtv cribs tour Hello, I'm just come off you. hi so mtv to the um... i've already showed them all this <laughs> See your top? Pretty girl. The birthday girl. It's the birthday girl. Have a beautiful <laughs> birthday caravan now. We're all settled in. We've had lunch now and we have made it our own. It's no longer, well, you can tell we've made it our own. <laughs> we've got wine. So we've just come for a little walk on the site and we found this little place on site yeah this is really cute they're playing music videos over on that board thing and they've got like a little beer garden thing going on over there which is really really sweet and then obviously all this stuff is probably closed because of covid but yeah this is actually really cute this is such a sweet little holiday place and i'm very excited for the donuts basically worked out that this is pretty much just a mini center park without the trees <laughs> and the sea instead We're at the beach! Honestly, the beach is probably like my favourite place in the world. I just... Uh, I've just always been a massive water baby. And I'm always in the sea. Literally, I'm dying. Oh, <laughs> dying for my bikini right now. So I can go get in. But obviously you can see the clouds. It's not exactly sunny. <laughs> But it was a big jump. <laughs> yes, ice cream man. Guess you know when you're on holiday when you've got an ice cream after a donut only like 20 minutes late. Mm. <laughs> okay, but we have right, this at least. <laughs> I've got half the packet. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Holly. So it is our first evening here and I just thought I'd take you guys out and show you the sunset. Oh, whenever we're in Norfolk, these sunsets are always absolutely stunning because we're right by the sea. We may or may not be getting another ice cream today. <laughs> it's massive. Look at it. It's massive. Literally the biggest kid ever because I am just obsessed with the amusements and the lights and oh, I just love it. everyone so we are currently what time are we uh, I don't know it's about 10 30 and we are on our way to the little shop what's our plan today 
hopefully we're going to go up on the north north coast Holcomb Hall Holcomb Hall very beautiful place so I will update you all then so we are currently in beautiful Chroma it's ridiculously windy today though but Chroma is just this if you haven't been it's just this gorgeous little town we're in North Norfolk now um, so we've travelled a little bit further up but also there's less people down here because no one was social distancing at all I am seeing people in the ocean yes there are literal people in the ocean are they insane? are they insane? I know! so this is the little town centre just off the seafront we've decided to put our masks on and in a way it's actually keeping us nice and warm but yeah as you can see this is ridiculous like we're still in a pandemic yeah, this is Chroma. So we're gonna head on further up the north coast towards Holcomb or Holcomb, oh how we pronounce it. Oh my gosh, this is probably Can we go in? Jamie, this is classic Yeah, beautiful little place called Blakeney. This place is basically known to have seals. Um, yeah, literally seals. So we're hoping we're gonna see some, but who knows? This might just be the cutest thing ever. They've made a conservation area for like ducks and geese, etc. But then they've got little houses. <laughs> I think if you walk down there you get to the um, seals. I think they're on like a little yeah, island on their own. Not. Over there? Yeah, the island over there. Over there. Where the seal pond is. I don't know what my hair is doing, but we attempted the seal trail. But it was freezing. So yeah, we are heading back. So we were not going to pay £4 to park and we were not even allowed to see the hall with only five minutes left of it being open so here's the outside and we'll definitely have to stand here again Obviously Holcomb, Holcomb was closed so we decided to carry on to Sandringham and because it's kind of you have to go back in obviously inland to get to Sandringham rather than on the coastal path so we've kind of come back inland It's closed now because obviously we've gone way past five but we need the toilet as well, so we thought we'd just come and have a quick walk around, see if we can actually see the house from wherever. And there's also the church where obviously the Queen goes for Christmas Day. We've been quite a few times before to Sandringham, but it's just so pretty. And obviously because it's closed now, it's obviously really, really quiet. so ignore the Disney music although these are the coolest speakers ever I don't think I've filmed these yet because I've been connected to them but it's basically a Bluetooth speaker and it's so cool it's like on the ceiling so the quality is really really good but yeah I'm not sure what we're doing today I think we're going to the Norfolk Broads which are obviously if you don't know Norfolk at all it's basically like a river that goes through a whole of this national park called the Norfolk National Broads National Park so we're going around there aren't we we're going to the Norfolk Broads today so this is Ornsby Broad. Where did she just... We found this accidentally. Because it, well, it said broad, but then we realised that it's actually a uh, pub garden? Restaurant, yeah. Restaurant and wedding Hotel. venue. Yeah, they've got it all set up. Someone's obviously getting married. Look, they've got a little oh, sweet wow. store thing there as well. 
Oh, that is so pretty. Well, there's some free advertising for this place. I think it's called the Boathouse and it's at Ormsby, so... Yeah, if anyone happens to be watching this who wants to get married and wants to be getting married by the Norfolk Broads, there you go. So this is what the Norfolk Broads are all about. So <laughs> people basically hire these boats and um, they'll go on little holidays on the Norfolk Broads. So this is Stokesby. Basically, I guess the whole point of the Norfolk Broads holiday is literally get a boat and go to a dock up, go to a pub. <laughs> My mum's just said apparently there's 150 miles worth of broads so on this national park there's 150 miles of this river basically and this is so cute so we attempted to go to this little place called Fairhaven water park or something but you have to pay to enter so and we're not planning on being here very long We decided to come back to the campsite and we were dying to try the waffles at the little seaside treats um place they are about to do some sort of show thing um and yeah we're just chilling and they're waiting to get theirs and yeah very happy to be trying this <laughs> so it's currently like 9 9 20 and because it's our last night so we were like oh yeah let's just go back to great yarmouth because we absolutely love great yarmouth so we are gonna go back there and see if the amusements were still open they're probably not but we've had a late dinner so oh well but we get to see the light skin so yes it'll just end the little holiday sort of thing we're having a day out tomorrow but it will just end the little holiday as it is in this part of norfolk so yes this man is on a massive winning streak right here. Look, he's got all these stuff and he's got all this stuff. Look at this man! He's going for it. Go on, try it. So we won like 400 plus something tickets. And we got these. Oh, it's gonna hurt. So I am literally now packing everything up. We have to be out here by 10. I think it's like half nine at the moment. Um, so yeah, the whole caravan's all packed up. I think we're going to spend the day at Holcomb um, Hall again today because obviously, like I said the other day, we got there five minutes before it closed. Um, but my mum really, really wanted to go and it looked really, really pretty. So we're going to go there for the day and actually just go and look around. So yeah, I need to get on now, so bye. Very nice day. Right. And we're off. Bye. So we've She's ended up good. in... A place called King's Inn. We've been here quite a few times because my dad has been racing and stuff in King's Inn, but we've never actually been to the town as such. It's actually really, really pretty. Yeah, so basically you can see that I'm obviously in my coat. It's quite windy again, but the sky, as you can see, oh, I've just got spit. I've just been spat on by the rain. Um, Yeah, so it's raining, so we basically were like, if there's no way we're going to hold them all. Because it's just going to ruin it, isn't it? If it all rain, the rain just makes you miserable. So we've just come for a little pit stop round here um, in Kings Lynn. So and yeah, as you can see behind me, it's actually really pretty. It's very old. filming a few weeks later I've just edited the vlog and I've realized that I completely forgot to do a ending of the video so here's me just saying thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know down below if you think I should do some more vlogs because I actually do really enjoy filming vlogs but obviously if you guys don't enjoy watching them then I won't bother doing more so yeah let me know down below if you think I should carry on doing more vlogs and I will see you in the next video please like and subscribe if you did enjoy and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye guys